Hey, thanks for tuning in. Summerhill Cinema 700 here, getting over a cold. So if I sound like a bit of like a bullfrog, it's just because I'm getting over this bad cold. So I'm coming at you with a video today, uh, doing a little review, and just kind of talking about things I do and things I don't like about the uh, new Predator movie, The Predator, 2018. So I saw this movie a few days ago at the theater, and um, this is one of those movies, you know, I was looking forward to seeing this year. Um, there's no, I don't go and see a lot of movies these days, but... Um, the Predator and Halloween are the two I think that uh, have stuck out most uh, for movies coming out this year to me that I want to see. So I went uh, ahead with a couple of friends and went and uh, saw The Predator. And um, I'll just kind of go with a basic plot rundown. Now, what I'll say first is it was nothing that I expected because I guess when I saw the trailer, I thought that it was going to take um, more uh, take place more in the jungle because I, I, I can't remember because I haven't watched the trailer. I only watched it once. I haven't watched it since. So, I think that some of this, a lot of the scenes they showed um, took place in the forest. Excuse me here for a sec. Um, and really, only a little bit did. They showed that on the trailer, so I got it. Kind of got that impression that it was going to be taking the place in the jungle, kind of like the original movie, which I thought would have been kind of cool. But instead, it ended up being nothing like that. Really. Um, <clears throat> basically, we meet this guy. He's like a military soldier. I'm not going to go through like the whole into crazy detail, but he's like a soldier. He's on this like. Uh, mission in the jungle or something, right? They're, they're snipers. They're taking out a couple guys. Um, kind of reminds me of, you know, when they're in the jungle, the original Predator, and they're taking out those, like, counter-terrorists, or sorry, the terrorists or whatever they are. Um, kind of reminded me of that. So they're sniping them and killing them, and then basically uh, the spaceship comes down. Oh, and starting out, we see some scenes in space, which are kind of cool. So we see, like, the Predator's ship. But basically the ship comes down and, like, attacks these people. And then um, one of the helmets gets left behind, one of the Predator helmets. So the guy takes it and basically ships it off and sends it to his son, who's like this young kid, probably like seven, eight, nine years old, something like that, maybe ten. Um, ships it back to him. And this kid, actually, he ha we meet this kid, and he has like Asperger's syndrome, I believe he has the disease. And um, he's picked on at school. Um, and it's really bad. There's like the fire alarm going off. So I don't know very much about that, the uh, disease of Asperger's. But I believe, I guess according to this movie, um, they're severely affected by sound, which I can't imagine would be absolutely terrible, but this kid, basically when the fire alarm's going off at his um, school, he covers his ears and he's getting bullied by these kids. Long story short, um, this kid's dad is the one who, like I said, sent the mask to the kid, but now one thing that, uh, again, I don't know much about Asperger's, but people with, I know that ha have um, autism, a lot of times they're, uh, they might come across as a little bit um, slower in certain um, areas, but in others, they're extremely smart, like Einstein smart. It's the same with this kid. He's very smart um, with his his, his own um, kind of line of, of things that he does. So he kind of, he's in his room and he does all this like technology stuff. Anyways, his dad sends him this mask, so it's like crazy, right? And he ends up like putting, he also sends him like one of those wrist things that he puts on, so he ends up putting that on and all this crazy stuff goes about and he's like communicating and when he puts on the mask, he can kind of like see through the predator's eyes. And, um, he ends up wearing the mask on Halloween, and then the thing blasts and fucking blows up this house. This this um, scumbag up on this patio like throws an egg or something at him, I think it was, and then it, the blaster just turns around like that. It's up on his shoulder and shoots right behind him, blows up the, the house. So that was pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> there's also, I don't know if this happened before or after, but there's this um, woman that we meet. She's like the scientist or whatever, and they take her to the lab and show her a predator. Um, they basically, they, these guys like men in black, they come to her work and they like tell her to get in the car and they take her to this facility and she sees that there's a predator laying out on the table and it ends up uh, waking up and attacking them and stuff. And I gotta say the predators in this movie look really cool, like the regular ones. Um, there's also at some point in the movie, there's a giant predator that's like 15 feet tall that kills the smaller predators for some reason, which makes no sense really because it's like... Aren't they, like, supposed to be on the same team? I think it kills one of the smaller ones, yeah. <clears throat> um, one thing with this movie, too, is it's, like, it has those dogs that were in the last movie, which I really didn't like. I mean, I guess you got to think, like, there's going to be more than just the Predators on whatever planet they came from, but I don't know, just the dogs, I didn't like them myself. Um, another thing with this movie is I can't remember, honestly, any of the names of the cast members, probably because I don't give two shits about celebrities. Um... But, you know, I mean, I care about actors and actresses, but none of these ones stick out to me, especially these days. Uh, but one of the, I believe one of the actors is uh, 
he's from like Saturday Night Live or something. He's some sort of comedian. But there was way t that's one thing I'll say about this movie. There was way too much comedy. Um, I thought that it was um, lacking a serious the serious feel that the original film had. Now, I don't I don't think that's what it was trying to go for. But I can't remember the guy's name again. The guy that directed it. I think he played a character in the original film. He was one of the actors who got killed off right away. Can't remember what his name was, but he directed this movie. Um, so. I'm not going to go through too much of it. I honestly can't remember what happened at the end. It was kind of like crazy and all over the place. They end up getting sucked up in the spaceship and almost all these guys. It's basically like this group of um, Marines. That's a big thing that I missed actually is that this Marine guy, <clears throat> the, the kid's dad, he gets sent off uh, on this like jail bus to prison. I can't remember what exactly the reason is for, but he's on this bus full of other prisoners and he basically makes friends of them. When they pull up to the prison, they see this predator, and while he's on the bus, he's like telling these guys, they're like, why are you here? Or whatever, and they're all like, oh, I shot a guy, or I killed this person. He's like, aliens, and they all start laughing at him, and then when they pull up at the uh, prison, they actually see one of these aliens, and he's like, oh, is that the one? And the guy's like, there you go, yep. And they end up, um, one of the guys in the back has like Tourette syndrome, so he gets in, he gets in a fight. It's actually pretty funny. He's like, my God, motherfucker. Not that Tourette's is a funny thing, but the way that they put it in this movie, it's pretty funny. Um, and I actually know because I had Tourette's syndrome, um, but it went away. I guess it was like more of like a tick, but I'd bark and shit. It was really fucked up. Um, not funny, like I said, but it's, it's a horrible thing. I know what it's like. Um, but it's one guy's Tourette's and ends up getting in a fight with another guy. So the military guys come back into the bus and they basically, all these guys that are getting taken away to jail, beat the hell out of them and take over the bus themselves. And end up taking off, and it's just like this group of guys, and they just keep making jokes the whole movie. It kind of gets annoying, and again, you have this girl who's with them, and she can be annoying as hell at times as well. Um, I don't even know where to go with this, though. Like, do you get the point? It's just kind of, this movie's kind of all over the place. There's not like a steady thing going on. <clears throat> so there's this guy trying to get his kid... Because now apparently the CIA are coming for him because they know the kid has the mask, he has information. But it's just like, oh, it's all over the place. Um, I'm going to just leave it at that. If you're interested in the movie, go check it out yourself. You know, If you're a fan of the Predator series, definitely go check it out because you'll like the scenes um, with the Predators uh, in them. That's the best part of the film is seeing the Predators. But uh, I honestly don't even think you saw them that much because they could have shown them more. Um, as far as the cast, like I said, I thought that they were a little bit too comedic. Um, in a, the serious situation that they were in. And, you know, I consider the original Predator movie one of the greatest films of all time, in my opinion. It's just the suspense and um, um, constant, you know, feeling and sense that there's, they're being watched and they, they're being picked off one by one. It's just a very tense movie. And one thing that I'll note, too, is that they um, kind of went back and used more of the original uh, score in this film. I don't, I don't know quite... I don't remember if they used the same kind of sounding score in the last one, the Predators movie. But um, they used it in this, and it really uh, is cool to hear that again. So again, things I liked about the movie were the Predators. Um, the story itself was kind of interesting, but again, kind of all over the place. I liked the the aspect with the kid um, wearing the mask. I thought that that was kind of cool. Um, I definitely liked this, I think, more than the last movie, and I think a lot of people actually really liked that movie. I didn't. I thought it kind of sucked, uh, the Predators movie. I mean, it wasn't the worst, but it's definitely not uh, very high on my list. Honestly, I'll just rank the movies right now. I'll say that my favorite is definitely the first Predator. My second would be Predator 2, because I just liked the jump from jungle to city. I thought it was cool. I enjoyed that film with Danny Glover. Um, so it would be Predator, Predator 2. Then I'd have to probably say... This, the new Predator, The Predator 2018, then Predators, then the Alien vs. Predators. So, I mean, it was alright. Out of five stars, I would have probably given it like three, two and a half, three. Um, so it was good, it was enjoyable. I'll definitely tell you it's better than most movies coming out these days. I mean, good God. Um, but uh, I guess that's all there is to say about that. I know I kind of went all over the place with this interview, with, sorry, with this review. But, I mean, the movie itself, like I said, is all over the place, so it's kind of hard to remember exactly what happened. And, you know, as you know, movies these days are kind of just, like, nonstop action. This wasn't as bad as some, but, pardon me, um, 
still had that kind of like, oh, just all over the place. Like, you're looking on the screen, like... But no, if you're a fan of the Predator movies, you know, that's the thing that, um... A guy that works at my local video store told me, me and him were discussing sci-fi films a couple of years ago, and he was saying, you know, sci-fi is one of that those genres that, you know, people either love it or hate it. That's why, you know, there was negative reviews in the newspaper, and there were great reviews, because it's just one of those genres that it's not just like you kind of like it. People either love it or hate it, and it's the same with the Alien movies. So, you know, if you're a fan of the Predator movies, then definitely go check it out, you know, because you get to see the Predator in action, which is always fun. You can never complain about that. Um... So if you just kind of focus on that and kind of ignore everything else, like the the people, the guys laughing and making jokes, which is like 90% of the film, then you'll have a decent time. Um, so even though I'm kind of criticizing this film, I think it's definitely a lot better than anything coming out these days. But then again, I barely go to the theater, but that's because the movies look so horrible to me. Um, again, that's just my opinion. Um, as you've seen probably in previous videos, I've, I'm a critic of the... Uh, the, the Disney Star Wars films. So I'm just a critic, I guess, of modern cinema. I mean, there's a lot of good movies still being made, um, but not near as many as before, in my opinion. So um, that's all I guess there is to say about the Predator movie. Let me know if you saw it, what you thought about it, and um, you can also let me know uh, your rankings of the Predator movies. What's your favorite? What's your least favorite? So uh, I guess that's all there is to say. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you next time. Take care.